Hi, welcome to volume three of our intermediate Grasshopper tutorial. This tutorial is going to focus on how to import and leverage data within uh, Grasshopper. Uh, in particular, we're going to be talking about how to make sure that your data is clean and tidy, what those terms even mean, um, and how important it is for uh, leveraging data within a program like Grasshopper. So to begin, make sure that you have uh, downloaded the TT Toolbox plugin. We're going to be using their Excel uh, read, read Excel sheet component. Also, please download the sample Excel file that we'll be using. In this case, there's a file called cost info. What we're going to build today is a very simple um, cost data dashboard that's going to live on top of what we built in volume two. So that nice facade that could be parametrically adjusted. You can imagine that if we had cost information, say a dollar per square foot of each material, that we could automatically calculate the cost of that facade in a rough sense. Um, and so we're going to assume that we're getting that information maybe from a third party, and we want to bring in the actual cost info through some kind of Excel um, sheet and plug that directly into our parametric model so we can get a handle on cost while we're deciding. So that's our goal today. So to begin, let's import some data. So I'm going to use the TT Toolbox Read Excel Sheet. And it asks for a file path. So let's pull up the file path container. This is a great way of importing, because if I right click here, say select one existing file, it'll open up a nice uh, window so I can get to wherever I've downloaded that um, sheet. Now notice it gives me a pop-up saying I can't import this because it's already open. Um, very often when Grasshopper is using Excel, um, these components actually open Excel in the background. So let's go ahead and close this out. And before I do, I just want to point out that we have multiple tabs down here at the bottom that we'll be going through throughout the rest of this tutorial. So let's close this. And now it should be able to be imported. Wonderful. Plug that into the file path. Plug in a Boolean toggle. So now as I set that to true, it should take a couple seconds. And I will have data from Excel into Grasshopper. It's that easy. So let's take a look at the outputs. So it outputs information in columns or, or rows. So using Pram Viewer, you'll see that this sheet has um, four branches of 27 items. And this would really be four columns, so rows A, B, C, and D and then, sorry, columns A, B, C, and D with 27 rows. Or if I import the row version, you can see it's now just been flipped. Now let's look at the actual information here. The first thing I want to point out is all these empty columns. This would be like an empty cell in Excel. And so if I go through here, the first thing I notice is that this information is all over the place, right? I'm going to have to do a lot of cleanup in order to get the exact information out. So if I wanted to make a cost model, and let's say, for example, that this these are the values I want. It's between $50 and $60 a square foot. Now notice, it's in some random branch, in some random index, and this is actually a text string. If I wanted to get out 50 or 60 and do anything with those numbers, I'm going to have to do a lot of text manipulation. This data is unclean and untidy. 